Welcome to the Popish Plot. This prayer time out is all about the Angelus. So cast your minds back to the very beginning of Easter. We did a prayer time out about the Regina Chaley, in which I mispronounced it as Regina Seely because I grew up in the modern church. I don't know anything about Latin. But we'll have a future episode coming about trusting sources. But for now, Easter's over. It was great. It was fantastic. It was wonderful. But we're back in ordinary time. So we should all be praying the Angelus. The Angelus is a very old prayer which reminds us of the incarnation of Christ. Traditionally, it's prayed three times a day. At 6 a.m., at noon, and at 6 p.m. Now, I don't pray it three times a day because I'm very rarely awake at 6 a.m., but I do pretty good if I can pray it once a day at noon. And you may have heard of the Angelus Address. It's a tradition in Rome that on Sunday at noon, the Holy Father will come out. He'll address all the pilgrims in St. Peter's Square, you know, make a few short remarks, and then they all pray the Angelus together, and then go off to enjoy the rest of the great and glorious Sabbath day. So I would encourage you to pray the Angelus, but I'm just going to give you empty encouragement. Here's a little how-to guide. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy will. To thy word, which I do the angel, not God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And here's the tricky bit. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In addition to being traditionally prayed thrice a day, the Angelus is traditionally play, prayed standing up, so that when we discuss the word being made flesh, we can bow in reverence. But if you really like praying at your desk, or if you really like praying kneeling down somewhere, Go ahead and do that. I like to do the bow, but of course, if I pray it while I'm driving, I don't do that because that would be hideously irresponsible. So, comment below with whatever you like, because I have the bad habit of telling people too specifically of how they should comment. So, any old comment that comes across your mind, whether you like the Angelus, whether you hate the Angelus, whether you know somebody named Angela and you're afraid they should be praying to her, whatever. Anything you want. You could give us a recipe. I don't know. Whatever you want. Just, just please comment. Please. Please. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Ring that church bell to be notified whenever a new plot is uploaded. And until next time, live your faith. Love your faith. Share that love.